gang, we're back. We're talking about 3D moments, about a point. We're going to use our R cross F formula. Look at this problem. Are you scared? Don't be scared. I got you, man. I got you. Here we go. Let's see if we can do this, okay? Find the moment generated by the 39-pound force about point A, and point A is over here at the wall, okay? So right away, 3D, I'm thinking R cross F, right? 2D, I might think just force times distance, but 3D, right? at least right now at our, at our skill level, I'm thinking R cross F is the way to go, okay? So let's see. Moment about point A equals R cross F, okay? What's R again? R is called the position vector. I'm going to write this down for you again. Position vector. Okay. And a position vector has its tail at the, we'll call it the moment point. And its tip anywhere, anywhere along the line of action of the force. Okay? That's what a position vector is. That is vector R. This is vector R. Okay? Tail at the moment that we wish to take the moment, the, the point at which we wish to Good lordy, I can't talk. The tail at the point at which we wish to take the moment and its tip anywhere along the line of action of the force. Easy for you to say, okay? So if we look at this, here's the force. It goes from point D off into the yonder, the wild blue yonder. But the vector should start at the point we want to take the moment. So that's at A to anywhere on the long line. So we can make it from there to here or there to there, or just anywhere we want. But I think it makes most sense to make it to point D, don't you guys? So from here to there. There is our vector R, boom, okay? Now vector R is just how you get to grandma's house, okay? You live there, grandma lives there. How do you get from there to there? Piece of cake, right? Vector R is equal to how much in the x now the x is this way right but in the x i've got to go because this pipe goes down the y-axis and then in the negative x direction and then in the positive z right so in the x it, you have to go negative 10 feet okay and then in the y you have to go 20 feet that's i hat plus 20 j hat and then in the, in the Z, in the K hat direction, you have to go four positive. Okay? And that whole thing is feet. Okay? So there's our R vector, right? That's how you get to Grandma's house. That's how you get from there to there. All right? All right, now vector F. Here's the vector F. It's a 3D vector. So the question is, is it blue triangles? Is it directional cosines? Or is it with coordinates where we can use our lambda hat method? This is definitely with, the, with coordinates. Now, it might mess you up that the origin's over here and the vector starts over there. But it shouldn't. All you got to do is just say, okay, now my vector, my origin is over here. I'm just going to, in my mind, I'm going to move my origin over there, right? So what do I have? This vector here is going to be what? Um, let, let's just, let's make a new point. Let's go A, B, C, D. We'll call this point E over here, right? We'll call this lambda hat D, E. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, it's E minus D. Okay, and point D, we made that our new origin, so that's all zeros. So E is going to be pretty much it. So how do I get to there from here? I got to go how much in the X? I got to go negative 4 in the X. I got to go 12 in the Y, and I got to go 3 in the Z. Okay? So that gives me negative 4 I hat plus 12 J hat plus 3 K hat. Okay? That's not lambda though, that's not 1. I've got to divide it by its magnitude. Okay? 
All right, let's give my handy dandy calculator a try here. Which pocket is my calculator? And here it is. All right, on clear. Let's see, four squared plus 12 squared plus three squared equals square root equals 13. Lucky 13, okay? And so my lambda vector is uh, four divided by 13, 0 0.308. That's negative, it's gonna be negative, positive, positive, okay? So plus, let's say 12 divided by 13, 0.923, okay? And then plus three divided by 13, 0.231. And we can check ourselves, right? Square it, square it, square it, take the square root. You should get one. Okay. So there is our lambda vector. Now we need to take our lambda vector and multiply it by what? Remember, remember the force vector is equal to the magnitude times the direction. Okay. Well, there's the direction and there's the magnitude, right? So let's multiply that whole thing by 31. 31. How about 39? And that will give us our vector F in IJK form, right? So 0 0.308 times 39 is 12.01. And then 0 0.923 times 39, 35, uh, 36. Let's just call that 12. That rounds to just 12. So we have whole numbers here because they are whole numbers. Uh, and then what's that? 0. Uh, 0.231 uh, times 39 equals 9. So plus 9K half. Okay? And, you know, look here. Watch this. 12 squared plus 36 squared plus 9 squared equals, and then square root of that, equals, it better equal 39, right? Boom, it does, 39, okay? That's how big that vector is. Okay, what's left to do? Well, I'll tell you what's left to do. The only thing left to do is to put that in a matrix and run the numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this. The human eraser. That's probably not the best thing to do. Okay. I, J, K, so it's R cross F, not F cross R, so the, this is the R, this is the F, so negative 10, 20, 4, negative 12, 36, 9, okay, here we go, so cover up the I, and I get this and that, right, so 20 times 9 minus Four times 36 okay and that is my I hat and then what minus cover up the J right minus 10 times 9 minus 4 times negative 12 okay and finally, k hat down here at the bottom. Cover up the k, and I get negative 10 times 36. Okay, minus, let's say what else? Eh, 20 times negative 12. Okay, we just got a little number crunch in here to do. All right, that's 180. Um, 4 times 36 is 144, and then uh, this is negative 90, this is negative 48, this is negative 360, and this is uh, negative 240. So here we go. My, our final answer about the moment about point A is going to be what? 180 minus 144 
That leaves us with 36, doesn't it? So 36 I hat. And then what is this? Negative 90 minus a minus 48, right? Which is basically negative 90 plus 48. Okay, so negative 90 plus 48 is 42 to the negative. So yeah, this gives you negative 42, but then there's a negative out here, which turns it back to a positive 42. Okay. And then finally here, negative 360 minus a minus 240 leaves you with a negative 120. And what are the units on that vector, the moment? Well, it's in pounds and feet. It's foot pounds, isn't it? Okay, this whole vector is foot pounds. Okay? And that's how you do that. That's it. Okay? 3D is not too bad. If you can write your R vector, write your F vector, throw them in a matrix, turn the crank, you got the answer, okay? Piece of cake, right? See you next time.